What's wrong? Um. Oh no. I, I went through the acetabulum. Uh, Hold on. Back up the corkscrew. Have a better look. Okay. Let me right. adjust the light. Yeah, please. All right. Let me reposition the leg for you. Thank you. All right. Now just make sure you're in the center of the head. Okay. All right. And just pull the head out like this. Yeah. Just like that. There Perfect. Save that for uh, sizing. Okay. What's going on? So, light a little bit. Yeah, it looks like I went through the head and I'm partially into the acetabulum a little bit. So I, I uh, uh, mm. overscrewed and damaged the cartilage. Really? Yeah. That's not good. No. So what, were you, what were you trying to achieve and what are you doing now? Uh, I was trying to get it into the center center of the head, but I don't think I was. I think I was a bit to the side. So I was eccentric, screwed through the head, into the acetabulum, damaged the uh, cartilage surface. So at this point in time, if we convert to a uh, total okay. hip and with a possible bone graft, we should be okay. Okay, good. Let's start with that. Remember for your exams, you need to get consent for a hemiarthroplasty and a total hip, that's the standard of care. And when you're prepared for the complications and you talk to the family and the patient about what may happen, that sort of prepares them in case something does happen. Okay, so Dr. Morris, we're gonna go ahead and switch to a total hip, so we'll probably be adding about an hour uh, at most onto the case, most likely about half an hour. Um, so we'll need the reamers and we'll need the uh, temporary prosthesis. All right. Well, complications do happen. Don't let it shake you. Just regroup, rethink, and repair. You just have to be able to recognize when a complication does happen and know how to deal with it. So I always think about the case before, before I start it and go through the mental, pro um, uh, mental process and uh, make sure that I think about all the possibilities that could happen. So you've done total hips in the past? Yes, I've done several. All right. You're a senior resident. You should be able to handle it. Do you feel comfortable? Continuing with this case. Uh, looking at the surface of the cartilage, it looks pretty good. Uh, so we should be able to do it with a nice total uh, hip. Shouldn't be too difficult for a procedure. So I've done several of those in the past. I should be good to do this one. Okay. So let me take a better look at that stabulum to see what's going on, what kind of defect we have. Okay. It's not that large of a defect. I think you should be able to handle this and uh, repair the defect. We're going to have to put an acetabular component in there. So I want you to think about, you know, how you're going to break the news to the family and uh, what we discuss with them. Sure. I basically need to discuss with them and the patient as well. Uh, first, I'd probably talk with the family because they'll be in the waiting room waiting uh, that we had a bit of a complication, but it was a type of a complication that we discussed pre-op, mm -hmm. which is why we consented to pre-op for the possible conversion of the total hip. But it'll increase the risk of dislocation, increase the risk of infection, increase the uh, anesthesia risk, mm -hmm. uh, and there's an increased uh, dislocation risk. Okay. Uh, so I'll talk with the patient once uh, he's not quite groggy from the post-anesthetic uh, medication. All right. Well, he's my patient, so uh, I will do all those things, but you should know how to handle that and speak to the family. But you should come with me and talk to the family. It will be an invaluable learning experience. Thanks. That would be great.